Taking over the UK media game. Nightstar Entertainment. Hi guys, uh, it's Christian Nightstar here again for day two on the tutorial on how, this is the exciting stuff, on how to give your film a cinematic look. So, um, straight from the camera, the footage looks pretty good, uh, pretty balanced, depending on how you shot it. Most of the time, when I shoot footage, I um, want it to be very neutral, um, flat, and not so much colour at all, because this enables us to put colour into the shot. Now, um, I like this shot here because um, we have uh, strong skin tones, which brings the actor out in, from the foreground naturally, and in the background you can notice some more blue tones there on the buildings um, a couple of miles away. So, um, how do we accentuate this? Well, uh, certain elements of colour correction are um, trial and error. Um, so what you want to do to get into three-way colour correction, and now this is the quick and dirty way of doing it again. I don't like to search through the menu. You just uh, click help and search for three-way um, and then you should have the top one which would be three-way colour correction and that shows you its location just there. So you want to go into three-way colour correction, um, click on it and you will be presented with a window up here which is three-way colour correction. Now this is the exciting bit because through trial and error you can create a really nice cinematic type of look for your shot. Um, usually there's two, there's either a cool look or a warm look, that's the main two in film. The cool look uh, makes things more, um, more uh, shifts the emotion of the shot to, to more of a um, depressing and dark type of film noir style look and then you have the warm one which is more like summer kind of look which uh, is more happy and anything in between the two is your palette so it's really great to experiment so what I like to do is um, look at the blacks first usually the shots are quite dark straight from the camera so what you want to do is lift it up and by doing that you go to blacks which is here and you go down to here and you drag the slider to the right and that will bring down the blacks and show up more detail on the clothing you want to do this because if you've worked over broadcast in cinema over a projector it can easily come out too dark and uh, even on television too and so you want to give it the shot a little bit more of a lift and, and not so much crunch on the blacks sometimes the blacks crunch do look good but um, sometimes they don't. Now this is the mid-tones you're adjusting here and I mean if you lift it up you lose detail on the character's face you don't really want to do that so um, in the middle it looks pretty good but if you bring it down a tad and mess around with both the blacks and the mids lifting the blacks a bit higher and the mids a bit lower you can see detail starts to appear on the actor's face which is great, which is what you need. Finally, the whites. Now, this is just the brightness of the overall shot. And um, if you lift it up, you can see it's starting to burn. You definitely don't want anything like that. Unless, obviously, it's a flashback type of sequence, then you can style it out. But uh, generally, you want to keep that um, a little bit higher. I mean, this shot looks quite balanced at the moment, quite flat. Um, okay fair enough so now you want to put some color into it well originally when I shot this I intended the scene to be quite cool so you want to move uh, the middle to the blue spectrum you want to move the middle um, dot to the bluer spectrums and you can see already there's changes starting to be uh, undertaken on the shots um, and I like to mix blue with the warm to, so you've got blue at one one side and you put a warm colour, a yellow or an orange on the other side and, this, and the whites as well, that's the overall warmth of the shot. Um, say I was going to cool everything down, so this is a lot of a trial and error that goes into it. Um, you want to really move the dots around, so it's quite subtle but um, 
but it's definitely there. So what am I doing? I'm going to leave the black for now. Uh, I'm going to bring the black down a tad so that everything looks great, but um, it's not too crushed because obviously if you crush the black, it's going to look like this. Although the detail looks pretty good on the actor's face, you can't see any detail in the clothing. All the information is lost. That's definitely not what you want. So um, if you are bringing down the slider for blacks a little, just a tad, you're getting a bit more um, of a balanced type of shot there. And I think this, and you can preview this with this eye button here, uh, eye checkbox, you can preview your original, which is this. The original footage which is this um, and that's your color correction and you can see the color correction is actually bringing out a lot of the background it's accentuating the blues in the building a little bit more um, I like this it can it can be um, tweaked a lot more but uh, for now I, I actually really like this kind of very subtle color correction because it doesn't really ruin it it just adds to the shot um, I've just moved it a bit more to the warmer spectrum in the mid-tones, mids here. So you've got a contrast between the yellow warm here and the cool of the buildings here. And um, that's really just playing around with it, trial and error. Um, now if I were to move the blacks back into the blue, we have quite a, it's cooled down the shot quite a bit. Mid-tones again, but bring them back up to the orange. So you've got the blacks and the mids doing the most part of the work. You've got the blacks going onto the cooler blue side and you've got the mids going to the warmer yellow and orange side. And it's giving you a nice kind of a shot here. Um, I really like this. I really like this shot. And so what I'm going to do is usually you need to render this type of color correction but uh, it's not very heavy so it's, so it's fine. It can play back fine. So you can see the, the grade here. It really, really looks nice. No, adds to it. So again, let's see the original. This is the original, and actually, a lot of the detail is lost on the actor's um, body. You can see that. Uh, although it looks good straight from the camera, you've lost a lot of detail on the clothing. Uh, my battery is low on the mouse. I need to charge that up. So yeah, I like my color correction. So go back to the checkbox up here. Check it back on. You've got your color correction going on. Great, you know, it gives it more of a cinematic look. Now I like to do, do this the lazy way. I like this grade. I know that the lighting outside is all similar to all the other shots I've got. And the sun didn't duck behind a cloud too much. It was a very cloudy day, which is great because when you've got a cloudy day, it acts as a natural diffusion to all the light and gives everything a nice glow. No burning from the sunlight, nothing like that. So that's great. Good shooting conditions for this day. Um, so what to do, what to do? well you want to copy this now and so how are you going to do that you're going to go back into filters so when you're on your clip you go back into filters and then you go into color corrector visual click on it and then control click on it and then click copy uh, you've copied your your effects now your color now you want to take it to a new clip so you double click on this and you edit paste bam you have the uh, similar type of color to um, to here, and actually, there's not much tweaking needed to be done to this color le uh, template that you've just made. There's not much tweaking at all. It seems to to match very well. Anyway, actually, let's try this with the main one. Now, this you're going to find some more problems because it's very dark on the on the side of his face that's facing the camera. So we go again, edit, paste. Um, and that seems to actually make his face more orange, which is definitely not what you want. Okay, so from this uh, picture, we like this, very nice. Um, overall colour matches with this one here, so that's great. However, now we're going to encounter some difficulty because he's way too orange. And obviously, I double clicked and I... Um, so once you double click on this, you edit, paste your template color in, and you find that it's very orange. It doesn't suit at all. Um, so you're going to have to tweak this now to make it match the other two clips in terms of color. 
So you want to double click on this clip make, and then go to filters, color correction, click on visual and uh, you go back into the lovely three circle visual. Now what you want to do is you want to lift the um, blacks up and tweak around with it again. I think the mids as well can be lifted and that, that actually brings things more into the um, a match with this. You can see the skin tones are matching a bit more and you haven't lost much detail however it's more washed out you see this is quite washed out and this isn't as washed out as this so you want to bring the blacks down to make sure it's not so washed out and that's, that looks good and let's see how these these all cut together I think the transition between this and this could be better in terms of color so let's play it back So looking good so far, and that cut uh, could be better. I'll tell you why I think it could be better, because if you double click on this here, go back into filters, go back into color correction, click on visual, uh, you find that actually some detail is lost here. Uh, so what you could do to bring the detail back is bring the blacks down a bit, just a tad, and that brings up some more detail on the photograph. Uh, same with the mids, bring that down. Uh, down a little uh, and to compensate bring the whites up a little there we go just a tad now let's see how this fares us the transition between the two sh the first and second shots is what we're looking at so this colors great and this colors great too it's more stylized the picture looks a bit more stylized it's, it's it works it works but it takes a lot of time to um, to tweak and to, to fine tune so yeah, rate, comment, subscribe, talk to me uh, with some messages or any, any queries you have, I'll be happy to help. I'm running some Final Cut Pro classes in London, uh, subject to booking, and I'm also running some lessons in filming um, and directing short masterclasses. They're definitely not going to be expensive. Um, I'm just trying to get by as a director, and uh, I, I think, you know, it's great to teach people what I know, you know. Uh, make the film making, filmmaking community a bigger, better thing. So we watch this back one more time. Um, everything seems to be great. Uh, also, it's all about the lens you use to film. You know, you don't want to use crappy lenses that come with your camera. You want to use proper movie um, lenses to really give you a strong depth of field, and they help to pick up the color uh, in the shots and all this looks very natural you probably wouldn't be able to tell that it's being color corrected uh, too much and this is the three-way color correction tutorial to how to make your film look more like a movie